there, I'm Matthew from Patchworks, and today I'm happy to introduce you to the Moog Etherwave Theremin. The Theremin was originally invented by Leon Theremin in 1919, on accident of all things. Leon Theremin was working as a Russian scientist building a gas meter that could gauge the density of gases when he noticed as he moved his hand closer to his gas meter, it was making a high-pitched squeal. Later this device would be called the etherphone, ether referring to the lack of strings, bows, or keys needed to play the instrument. The etherphone was later called the theremin, named after Leon Theremin, of course, and was later hailed as the first electronic instrument. Now Bob Moog has a long history with theremins, as many of us know, and he actually started building theremins himself when he was only a teenager. I'm going to do a short demonstration of the theremin. The theremin requires a lot of skill to play. It's a beautiful electronic instrument and you can get some amazing tones from it, but it takes a lot of practice and I am not very practiced at the theremin. But after I give you this demonstration, I'm also going to show you how to connect it with your Eurorack and use quantizers and oscillators and VCAs to kind of create your own theremin voice with your Eurorack. And with the use of quantizers, we can actually make this very easy and musical to play. On the front panel, you have a mute button. And then on the back, you also have an expression pedal input to control the mute switch as well. So you can use your foot to do that. And then next to that, you have your phone's jack with a quarter inch jack. Then your phone's volume. Your volume range, which is going to determine how far and close you have to be to the volume antenna, which is on the left of your theremin. Your pitch range, which is the same idea, but with pitch, so how close and far you are for the highest and lowest pitch. Your waveform, which is going to adjust from all the way to the left being a square wave to a skewed triangle wave to the far right. Then you have a brightness knob, which of course is going to control how bright the timbre is. So that's going to change the edges of the waveform and going to make the edges more abrasive as you turn the control to the right side. On the back of the theremin, we have our power button, we have the audio output, we have three 3.5 inch jacks for having your theremin communicate with your rack, which we're gonna jump into in just a little bit. You also have a quarter inch jack for controlling the mute button. When you approach your theremin, you wanna stand about 12 inches away, so about a foot away, and then you kind of wanna position yourself on the left side, so more with your belly button towards the end of your theremin, or the left end of your theremin. And what you're going to do first is unmute it, of course. And we're going to adjust the pitch and volume range now. So we're going to start with our hand, you know, right at about shoulder height. And we're going to try and find this zero beat position where it doesn't make any sound. Which is kind of already at for me, but I'll demonstrate how it might be for you. So you're just gonna move the pitch range knob until it's not making sound and you're in a comfortable position. And then this is gonna be your pitch range. So you do the same thing with the volume, so you decide where you want the volume to be. Seems like a good spot right there. All right, now let's have a listen to the timbre controls, which is the waveform and the brightness knob. So right now we're at 12 o'clock, so we're in between a square and a skewed triangle. So let's go straight over to that square only. Continuously moving towards the skewed triangle. You can hear it's a lot softer here. If I turn the brightness all the way down, you'll really hear how soft that skewed triangle can sound. There you go. Now let's turn the brightness all the way up and you can hear how abrasive the skewed triangle can actually sound or how sharp. And now how sharp you can hear and now how sharp it is with the square wave. If you want to do vibrato, you just shake your hand.
it does require a massive amount of skill to play this instrument, which is why I'm going to hook it up to my Eurorack system and have it assist me. Okay, so I've got the theremin hooked up to my modular system on the table. I'm taking the pitch output from the theremin and running it into the After Later Audio's 1U Ornament and Crime, and it's currently set up as a quantizer. We also have stages sending that quantizer a LFO that's actually moving quite quickly because this quantizer wants to receive triggers to switch to different notes. And so to have continuous note switching, we're just sending it a fast moving LFO. From there, the pitch is going into the Roland 510, which is an analog synth voice. We have that output going directly into the Tangle Quartet by ALM, and this is our VCA. So on the theremin, I'm using the volume output to the Tangle Quartet's VCA CV input so I can control that VCA opening and closing with my left hand on the theremin. I failed to mention this a moment ago, we're also using stages to slew the pitch input with our ornament and crime. That way we can get that warbly feeling that you get from a theremin. Our last stop for our audio is the Stereo FX 1U by Intelligel, and we're actually using that in mono, but we're gonna play with those effects so you can get an idea of how much fun we can have. So you can hear that uh, I'm able to control the volume of my oscillator. And it's going to be very quantized, so this is going to sound actually pretty good. Which, so this is a lot of fun for someone who doesn't know how to play the theremin, but really likes uh, playing with gestures and sound. Uh, let me use some effects. So the, the only disadvantage that we have currently is that I can't do vibrato with this quantizer, but when I uh, engage the slew a little bit more, I should be able to get some vibrato. There it is. So that sounds a lot more like the actual theremin and not so much like uh, the Eurorack system playing what we had just a moment ago. So I'm going to bring that uh, slew back down so we can play with those easy to hear notes. So now I'm going to engage the delay on the 1U FX module. You can experiment with different hand gestures here. Yes, I am having fun doing this. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to engage the reverb. Ooh. Okay, now let's check out the chorus. <laughs> okay, well I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration of the new Moog Etherwave theremin and also using it with Eurorack. It's fairly simple to get started with Eurorack. You do need a couple of utility modules to really dial it in, but all of those are available here at Patchworks. Again, I'm Matthew, and I'll see you guys next time.